the L.A. Kings in town tomorrow night, followed by the Montreal Canadiens on Sunday. Lisa Miller was over at the practice today to get a report on the Oilers' Christmas. Practice officially started at 3 p.m. today, but some players were itching to get back at it after a three-day layoff. And still others showed off their Christmas gifts. Martin, are you holding your Christmas present today at practice? Well, actually, I went before Christmas, and it's so lonely at home, so I went to cut the dog at SPCA for... It's been good since, uh, since Christmas, that little dog at home. What Martin didn't get from Santa or Coach Green was a spot back on the roster. For that matter, Dave Manson hasn't yet got his voice back, but he did get to spend Christmas with his family in Saskatchewan. First time back home for Christmas in uh, six years. So we were pretty excited about going back. And it was just good that we could spend it over a good win on the top ten. Coach Ted Green had no hesitation giving the team a three-day Christmas break, but if there was one drawback, it comes after a great outing against the Calgary Flames. Being in the point division time a lot, I, th I think it's very important for the team to get away from the game physically and mentally for a period of time. The only concern the coach has is that we, we left, we played such a good game our last game, you wonder if we got rusty in those three days. I don't think so, but uh, the Senate will be there at the end of the year. Oilers scoring leader Vincent Danfu spent his Christmas break in Toronto, but upcoming weekend games against Los Angeles and Montreal were never far from his thoughts. Well, I think it was on our mind uh, throughout Christmas, so we know it's a, a big game for us coming up, and, uh, and LA and Montreal are always uh, big intensity games, and, and we hope to, to win the back-to-back -back games uh, on the weekend. The Kings are here tomorrow night. Lisa Miller, CFRN Eyewitness Sports.